Good evening, everyone. <laughs> What's Shug on? <laughs> Watching us. Watching you. Watching us. <laughs> Watching you. Uh, this is going to be a fun one tonight. <laughs> evening, everyone. Um, welcome. Uh, eventually, after months of waiting, we're going to start the table ramp. I'm going to do it in two parts. I'm going to do it in two separate bits. So tonight we'll turn the stem. Next week we'll do the base. Um, and we will wire it up with all the bits and put the funky light and yeah. Nice. As you can see, looking after you this evening, we have a Mr. Wayne Wood Turner and a Shug himself. So they'll be looking after you. Let me know what's going on in the chat. But for now, let's put them in the background. Oh, no. No. And uh, let's go. I've been banished. Banished like a wrinkly ninja. Nobody puts Wayne in the corner. <laughs> Let's go over to the low. <laughs> oh, I'm on that camera. You can see my knees. I'm on that camera. Nobody puts Wayne in the corner. You're not got... I'm on You're that not camera. Got the on, Scott. No, I haven't got my kilt on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chicken. on the lane. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll wear it next week. Yeah, uh, go on, get it on. <laughs> on the lathe, we've got a piece of maple. Um, it's 12 inches long, 4 inches in diameter. Now, this was already bored all the way through um, when I got it. Um, so I was quite fortunate in that. But if you are going to do a table lamp, you're going to need to have plenty of space around your lathe and the tools uh, for boring. So we're going to start getting this rounded off. I've got no idea on the shape. Um, I've got several ideas in my head. Um, so we're just going to suck it and see tonight. Ooh. Yeah. So I'll start turning and the boys can look after you. Okie dokie. Um, Wayne, I don't know whether you've seen uh, Robert from HodgePodge. He said it's a shame that Shug and Wayne aren't studying for their tri trivia on Friday. You have got a glass of wine yeah. there, Wayne, haven't you? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. I have. And I've got the rum, so we're doing some studying, Robert. We're okay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <coughs> we've right, got a plan for in. tomorrow night. We always have a plan. We've got a plan for tomorrow night. Yes. We it's don't know what boy. the plan is. I'm not telling you what it is. <laughs> That's because we, we don't know what it is yet, mate. We ain't decided, but there's a plan. Oh, sh <laughs> <coughs> right, so, in Rachel, the chat okay, so you far... Rachel, are read out um, who's in the chat? I am, mate. Uh, we've got 29 watching with 10 thumbs up. Uh, 30 watching with 10 thumbs up. So 20 people do have an opportunity to uh, make Scott a happy man and push the button. Uh, in the chat so far, we have Andy H's for turning. Evening, Andy. Need a I ball. Feeling slightly better. Hopefully. <clears throat> if not, he will be by the time he finishes watching this, Scott, because he'll go, God, I'm such a lucky man. <laughs> I could have had to be there. That's what you could have said. Right. We've got Anita Ball. We've got uh, Barry Chitty. We've got Copper Owl Wood Turning. Door 60. Rob. Doug Miller at Wood Spun Round. Door. Uh, the elusive uh, Robert from Hodgepodge Good Woodworks. Evening, We've got Dave from Dave's Creative Metalwork Mewit. And I'm Mr. Mewit. And Harry. And oh yeah, Robert and Harry. Yeah, we've got uh, Jennifer's Craft and Creations. Yeah. Let me just check a minute. We do some verification. Is that the real Jennifer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> think about that. Jennifer. <clears throat> we've got Mark L. We've got Miss T's Wood Turning. We've got Hi, John tea. Scarborough. Uh, oh. Paul uh, Paul Hoyton, the Greasby Turner. We've got <clears throat> Richard Phelan. Rubber Dub Wood, uh, Tony Smith, Ward Wilson, uh, Wyvy Woodshed. Hey, Ward from the west coast of Arizona. You got it in one. He's not from uh, the west coast of Arizona. He is indeed. He is. <coughs> We've got Wood Turnings by Barry and Woodworm hey, Paul. Good evening, everybody. Thank hey, you for hey, joining Paul. us. How are you doing? Now, I am About turning this between video. centres. Um, so, I've got an uh, Axminster light pole driving the tailstock end. Uh, so, it's being friction driven, which is why it's slowing down when I'm taking big cuts. 
Nice. Let's put did a you bit just say? Speed did you just say light pull drive? Because I heard they were for making other things. <laughs> yeah, but I use it for everything, mate. Just because it's, you know. Mhm. Mm nice. <clears throat> And what wood did you say it was you had in? Andrew's Stop. just come in. Hey, Andrew. Maple. Maple. Uh oh. It ain't, got the, it ain't got the syrup. Yeah, it ain't got the syrup, but we don't need the syrup because uh, the heckler's in. Andrew AGK. Uh, Wayne spotted him, but yeah. oh. Uh -oh. <clears throat> be afraid. Be very afraid. He may heckle me. <laughs> Um, before you ask, Andrew, no, I haven't been in the workshop. I haven't tidied it. <laughs> I thought they were tidying my workshop, did you? Did you? It's the thought I mean, that counts, thought Wayne. Last week as well. <laughs> <laughs> it is the thought that counts. So well done, mate. Well, well done. Um, I, I think I think I've got um, I think I've got the win of the big feats and Andy Val uh, arriving tomorrow morning for a for a cuppa, so oh no nice. I thought should I tidy the workshop and I thought no I'll not bother I did see he's been to the signpost yes yeah he went to the signpost last night yeah he signed in should we say yeah he's um as far as I'm aware he's up seeing Andy mm -hmm. I think that's what he said yeah <laughs> and Andrew, yeah, 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 yeah. Innocent until proven guilty. <clears throat> Honestly, yeah. don't awesome weekend sure. was had by all. It was indeed. Thank you very much to Dale and Sinyi for putting sure. it on. Indeed, it was. Sorry, um, Chuck, did you did you mention innocence and Andrew there? Because the, yeah. that that doesn't go together. Well, that's what I thought, but he was trying to make it out. Look, he can you can tell by the intonation of his writing. Like he says. I honestly don't know what you're talking about, Shook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull your other one's got bells on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Douglas has just come in. Good evening, Douglas. Hi, Douglas. Evening, Douglas. A little bit more this end, and then we're there. And Bob Race has come in. That's a name I haven't seen before. Oh yeah, Bob. Good evening, Bob. Unless well, I've been yeah. missing something. Don't forget, guys, if you have got a question, prefix it with a couple of question marks or a couple of cues, and we'll pass it on to Scott for you. Uh, Doug, Doug Miller uh, has, um, uh, I don't know whether you'd call this a question, Scott, or a, yep. a statement. He said, let it be known. That was... I saw a picture of Scott in a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> that was not... Can I, can, I, can I just say, that was not a skirt, that was a kilt. Yep. <laughs> they are different. <laughs> Sorry, There's just having more photographs up. taken, you would have seen... <laughs> yeah, if if you, if there'd be more photographs taken, you would have seen me in one as well, Doug. Oh, oh, <laughs> Wayne, don't speak too soon. <laughs> I have they pictures. May, they may be uh, appearing soon. Uh, Hodgepodge has a question. He says, "Oh, Mark L's, question. Mark L's here." Oh, yep, he, he sure is. Um, evening, Mark. He he, he, uh, he has a question. He said, "Question, question, Scott. Will this lamp have?" <clears throat> a blue light. <laughs> Have I got? I don't know if I've got any blue glass paint. <laughs> Doug, you are correct. It is much and funnier Doug to say it as a skirt. I know, but it was much. It was much funnier as a skirt. <laughs> That's right. Um, I had a skirt. You should have seen what Jigsy was wearing. So Bob. Uh, th this is this is th this is this is for um, for Bob Racy. He, he's just put in there. He's a bit of a newbie. There are a bunch of us that um, put lives out on YouTube, Bob. If you want to uh, check other people out, there's uh, me, 
uh, Wayne the Wood Turner, that is. There's uh, Jimmy Page, JP Woodwork, uh, Jake Thompson with Northfield Custom Crafts. There's a whole bunch of us that put stuff yep. out on YouTube. Mark Brian and Hartwood Turner, Turner, Mark the Gentleman Wood Turner, um, well. Pete SK Crafts. Uh, yes, yeah, Steve, Steve SK Crafts, um, Pete Ravenscroft. I forgot my Every... YouTube name now. Twisted oh, Trees. Uh, Jennifer Pete. has got a question. Yep. Jennifer's got a question, Scott. Uh, she's asking about Keith and how he is. Um. So. Last I heard from Keith was that he had to go and have some more tests. Um, I was going to ring him today, but being at Polo, I didn't get a chance. Um, yeah, he's he's recovering slowly, and that's the way it should be. He needs to take his time. Now, there is also another question in the chat. <clears throat> and Anita said, question, what is the difference in a kilt and a skirt? Freedom! <laughs> I'll tell you what, it was freedom, man. <laughs> Anita, you wear underclothes underneath uh, a skirt. You wear... And then worn by ladies. Uh, you wear sweet overall under a kilt, allegedly. <laughs> <clears throat> and a kilt wraps around you several times. Uh, Jennifer is um, said to you, Scott, uh, give Keith her regards. I will do. I'm actually on late this week, so what I might try doing is ringing him in the morning. Because I know he's been getting tired, so I don't know if he'll be up this late. So we're just going to put a spigot on the end. Douglas Mungham says I feel sick now. <laughs> ah, you're, you're okay. Video, Douglas. You're, um, you're okay, having... Douglas. It was them, not me wearing the. <laughs> I'm putting a montage together of yeah. all the pictures Guns that Scarborough I've got. Is all right. John Scarborough's just put in uh, an answer to Bob Rice, saying it's worth checking out all of those people mentioned, and he's learned so much from this great bunch of turners. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned my name. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one to watch, Wayne. The wood Jedi himself. Uh, James Crawford's just come in. Hi, James. Right. So Evening, I'm James. A, a, a very technical calibre to get a 32 mil um, pennant on the end there. Called a spanner. Right, Bob, Bob, Racer's, Bob Racer's just put in. This is a good one, this is. Nothing is uh, nothing is worn under the kilt, as it's in all in perfect work, work and order. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> oh, right. uh, Andrew's asking why I didn't wear one. He said, "Why didn't you wear one, Chuck?" It well, the thing good. is, <clears throat> the thing is, Andrew. Allegedly, uh, the biggest one you can get is a twelve yarder, and that wouldn't go around my leg. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm doing now is I'm just concaving the bottom. Uh, so Steve Fleming's joined the, the chat. Evening, Steve. Good evening, it Steve. Will, it will sit round. Uh, where did I put that skew? There it is. Use and the skew, gonna, Luke. I'm just going to take a bit off this end just to make sure that this is level so when we put it in the base... So I'm just using the point of the skew there, and again, popping a concave on that. Oh, yeah, the captain's ring for a second. Nah. Because I've done that, I'm just going to make sure, between centres, that I've made sure the pressure's there. All right, let's think about some shape. I think it's I'm going to start at the top. Tightened up again. Yeah, start at the top and work my way down. So we'll get rid of some of this. Cause... Uh, Christine and Michael are asking you, Scott, are you going to be at the club on Sunday? Uh, club Sunday. It depends if I get off on time Saturday night. Because I'm working till 2am Sunday. If I get off on time, then hopefully. 
but knowing what work's been at the moment, I can't make any promises. So what are the ideas you had on the shape then, Scott? So I had a bit of an idea of a traditional shape, but then part of me was thinking I could do that. Spray it black and make it a bit steampunky. A bit of black and a bit of copper and Ooh. I've got some copper naily bits we could put round it. I do like steampunk, <clears throat> so I, I could go with that. Um, you know me, I don't do round and brown and boring. I like to be different. Hey, Douglas is... Yeah, Douglas has just put in there, and I don't know who the hell he's talking about now. But he's he's put out with without you, prof professional turners. I and many more would not be turning anywhere near what they are if, at all. No, I'm not. I'm not a professional turner, Douglas. I'm a professional layabout. <laughs> 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 Wayne's got a whole lot more on me. I've only been turning just over six years. So oh, I think. There you go, Douglas says you are compared to us out here. It's nice of him to say so anyway. <clears throat> Me, I've, the only thing I've been turning is the air blue for a while. <laughs> you swear, Shock. Well, I believe it. Oh, Jennifer, you're starting, you're starting to make me blush now, Jennifer. I did check, and it is the real Jennifer. So do we reckon steampunky? What? Uh, well, I'll put it this way. I wouldn't say I'm no not to, to, read to that steampunky. Out, <laughs> I'm not going to read that out from Jennifer. It's just bigging me up. I can't read that out. <laughs> really? <laughs> 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 yeah, he said she's seen pictures of him in the kilt and he's got the best legs out there. And Dill's just come in. <laughs> hey, hello, Dale. Good evening, Dale. And it is the real Dale. I've checked because he's got a blue spanner. Ooh, I don't know where the uh, I don't know where the nails are, but we'll guess. And Douglas has uh, just said to you, Shug. <laughs> Douglas has just said to you, Shug, you need to fit the grapple under your drone to lift the rubbish out. <laughs> <clears throat> I think we might, may need a little bit more than a drone. <laughs> it may require a JCB with a big old back actor. <laughs> Not that big shock. <laughs> and Deal has said he's got a blue wiggy too, because he wore a kilt at the weekend too. Yay! Yay! Do, 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 do. That was all I heard all, all weekend. Honestly. <clears throat> Mate, you should see my fridge magnet. It plays it. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> oh, I missed a treat. That's, is it the workshop? I'll see if I'll find it. <laughs> Mark says, charge little kids a quarter to run the grapple. <laughs> <laughs> Prize every time. Take that home with you. Go on. No, I don't want it now. Go on. This top. This needs a bit more of this. Oh, 
Pine it up. <clears throat> Dale, because he came late to it, is asking a question, Scott, and he said, <clears throat> "Are you making a super uh, a supersized, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> plug?" <laughs> no. <laughs> no. For a super-sized sink, Scott, I have no idea what you were thinking. <laughs> I'm sweet and innocent. <laughs> believe that, you believe anything, but... <laughs> Douglas says, he went into the kilt shop in Pit Lockery, and the guy running it was Indian. <laughs> Different. Right. Just unblock the extractor. Oh, and apparently they cost a fortune. Oh, yes. Um, I got a utility kill off uh, Amazon, and it cost me 35 quid. And it was too big for me. Outrageous. Outrageous. Yeah, funnily, funnily enough, the one that I ordered was too big for me as well. So I sure. the I owed the 48-inch because I'm a fat. I nearly swore there. <laughs> <laughs> See, I ordered a 50. You probably... You know, somebody else could have probably got in with me. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a scary thought. <laughs> What's that? You could, you could have looked like John. <laughs> He had a little man there, didn't he? <laughs> Jimmy! Oh, that was funny. I did like that one. D Douglas, has said, Douglas has said the deal he had a Yorkshire accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it would almost have been worth going back in and videoing that, wouldn't it? <laughs> Tell you the truth, I was actually surprised at um, the uh, how cheap the the kilts were buying from Amazon. Obviously, not going to a proper kilt maker, but I might have to check it out next time. I, I may, uh, I may take the plunge and uh, and get myself one, as long as they do it in blue denim. Well, we were going to put you in Jimmy, but this is no. one size fits all, and we thought that might be a bit pushing it. Well, I got <laughs> <laughs> one size fits all, but my name's not all, so we're okay. <laughs> uh, right, bear with me. I'm just having a slurp of coffee. Wait, <laughs> The, the one I got is the same colour as me turned in smock. Mm. Right. I think Justin's so was when the I best. Do any turns it was in almost Scotland, glowing the dark. Fully suited and booted. <laughs> Justin's was funny. It was. It was. Um, it was so bright, I think it could have been seen from the moon. <laughs> Neil said, we really just need the piss helmet now. <laughs> <laughs> just needs what? A piss helmet. A piss helmet. You know what they wore when they went on safari? Yep. <laughs> Me, me wonders if he may be taking the pith a bit there. Oh, <laughs> Dale, take the, the one that um, the, the, 
the one that uh, Justin was wearing was, um, I suppose you could call traditional, because that was uh, the Stuart Tartan. Yeah. Now what we're chuckling at. Dale's uh, Dale's just scored me, he said. Well done, Shug. 10.0, 10.0, 9.8. Yeah, and then he went on to see the Ball City Rollers Tartan, he thought. Yeah. <laughs> I've just had a thought, Wayne. If tomorrow you can you can do a slow pitch for me. I reckon uh, uh, after yesterday when you were doing that one with the slightly off centre pith, <laughs> and I and I managed to use that joke, and now tonight I've managed to use that joke about taking the pith. If you could just slow pitch me tomorrow in the quiz, <laughs> I could make it three for three. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Just remind us on before we start. <laughs> Uh, John Scarborough's oh, got a John's scoop. John's having to go. <clears throat> Good night, John. John. Catch you later, mate. So we've got 43 people watching. I see 21 thumbs up. Guys, uh, uh, you've got a fantastic opportunity, 22 of you, to smash a thumbs up. Mate's got a happy man. Go on. You know you want to. And I believe at the top of the chat... He also has. He got your boy. Um, buy me a buy coffee, Lincoln. He? He's got. Yeah, he's got his buy me a coffee uh, link in, So uh, make him even happier. All of them. Uh, Mark L. Uh, Mark. On, mate. Yeah, Mark L. Has just said what? Win was scripted. No. Uh, <laughs> no. I tend to have, before the the um. The, before the quiz on the Friday on the Friday night, the um, the Battle of the Makers, uh, which is on tomorrow night, Shug and I usually have a bit of a chat to uh, plan out how we uh, plan on losing the show. Yeah, we have a we have a, a tactical meeting <laughs> where we is discuss tactics. Yeah. Yes, I, we discuss I, tactics. Scott. I thought it was called a drink. We use, usually answer. <laughs> we usually answer. We usually answer every question with Thursday. <laughs> oh, having real issues turning a sphere tonight. Go on, Scott. You can do it. Uh, Anita Balls just reminded me that um, I need to tell you guys, likes and comments are free. They're completely free. They're gratis. They won't cost you a they penny. Are. And they make people smile. It won't cost you anything. So once once this live show is finished, you will be able to make a comment on the video. Go in and do it. It doesn't cost you anything. But it certainly helps the video. Thursday deal. <laughs> I'll just say thanks again to Anita for last week. Uh, fantastic amount of raise for mine. Um, and her packet will be going in the post tomorrow. <clears throat> Andrews from AGK. I've got to finish that. Hopefully, I'll get that done before work tomorrow, and then that can go on the post as well. I can tell you now, Scott, that Hodgepodge has um, um, has a, an answer for you, and he said that means you need more time trying to get a grip on balls, Scott. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <clears throat> And in the in the delightful words of um, Zippy and Co. from uh, Rude Rainbow, <clears throat> if you haven't got any balls, go and see you your friend and your see if you can balls. play with his. <laughs> right. I'm gonna try. Dale's just checked and found out. He said, "Good Lord, you're right." <laughs> yes, I know. I know. It was actually a funny thing happened on the um, the Battle of the Makers. It was a few months ago now when Shug and I decided we were going to answer every question with Thursday. And the first question Steve asked was, what day follows Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So we got one right. <laughs> <laughs> How, however, the, uh, the following uh, 30 or so questions weren't Thursday. <laughs> no. Right, where are we going now? Let's go deep, deep, deep. Uh, Dale's asking Hodge, uh, bowling, basketball, or many of right, so Douglas has just put in there. Uh, this... Yep. <laughs> And Douglas has said, Wayne, I've just turned the outside of the vase. It's 11 inch by 6 inch. And he's going to try and make a simple hollowing system to hollow it out. Nice. Nice one, Douglas. Oh. I hope it works well. Be interesting oh. to see. Brian's, Brian's in. Just come in. Good evening, Hiya, Brian. Hiya, Brian. <laughs> uh, Wayne, uh, can I just remind you, no more talking tactics because Brian's in. Uh, you know, the wolves have ears and all that lot. Mm -hmm. The last thing we need is them to know Thursday. <laughs> I thought you said it was Wednesday. <laughs> shh, 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 Bob Race has just put in there. Spheres are so last year. Yeah. <laughs> Pretend it's an ovoid. Yes, I like it. <laughs> I'll, I'll use my, I'll use my 80 grit jig. <laughs> You know, that 80 grit gouge is brilliant. Um, Andrew has a question. He said, uh, question, and it's a very serious question. I nipped away to sort my tea out. <clears throat> is this lamp coming with a blue light or a red light? Oh, my. <laughs> Roxanne! <laughs> it's actually coming with a flickering candle bulb. Oh. I know that because I bought one off Amazon today. Oh, I like the sound of that as well. He's got, he's definitely, he's definitely going to, be, he's, he is definitely going to be taking this one to Brighton. <laughs> All that flickers ain't gold. <clears throat> oh no, Brian's worked it out. He said not Thursday again. Shh, I told you, shh, shh. Brian. Shh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm afraid so, Brian. Thursday again. <laughs> Brian? Well, these easy wood tools are evil. Where's that? That's because you're using them wrong. <laughs> ah. Is that the miniature one, Scott? Yeah. Too small for this, but hey ho, Fish. me in it. Yeah, the, the, you do realize you do realize that for pens. Yeah. This is a big pen. Can you not see that? Yeah, it's a big old pen. <laughs> <laughs> Lionel's in. Good evening, Lionel. Hi, Lionel. It's a giant's pen. Hey, Lionel. He says, he says and I'm, I'm going to murder the French hey, now. Guys, no, I'll I'll be back he says, go, Bonsoir, les gens. That old age is catching up with Wayne. He's got to go a place, you know. He's got to go a place. Oh, if I'd have known that, I'd have asked him to get me a drink and all while he was there. <laughs> <clears throat> so again, just using the rough and gouge. Take some of the excess away. My fire pit's going to love me later. 
correct, correct, Douglas. That's your starter for ten. <clears throat> it is indeed rum. Who's on the rum? Me. Outrageous. I may have a cider after this. <laughs> Well, will it be a Thistley Cross? That might be a Dickens. Dickens! I've heard the ladies like. Dickens, either. Did I get here, right? Where my missus saw that t shirt? <laughs> uh, Douglas is asking, what speed are you turning that, please, Scott? Um. About 1,500. Now, as Wayne said before, the fast you can turn the bad, but it's got to be at a speed you're comfortable at. Mm -hmm. Just remember, if it feels like you're turning too slowly, in the immortal words of Mr. Clarkson, more speed, more power. Douglas has just said to you, Scott, that you don't need them. I shouldn't be, because it's down on my chin. No, he said, he said, shug your Darth Vader in. Ah. To, uh, to, uh, to shug. Ah, I better check. Ah. It doesn't sound like it to me, Sugar. I've got to see. No, I can't hear any Darth Vader's. I'm using the Force, Luke. No, oh, he's using the Force. I think, I think I might have heard a Darth Vader then. <laughs> These are not the skews you are looking for. That wasn't a skew, that was a rough and gouge. Exactly. That's why it wasn't the skews you were looking for. <laughs> As Wayne would say, excuse me. <laughs> Dale said, <clears throat> Shug, do you say that when you're having a poo using the force? <laughs> Using the force, Luke. <laughs> <coughs> We've had May the fourth. It's July the fourth now. <laughs> yeah, May the fourth be with you. Andrew said, the dark side of the force is in your workshop. I think that's for you, Shug. It might be in his workshop, but he can't see it. Scott, you beat me to that one. I was just about, I was just getting the glass there ready. I was going to go. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Dark side is strong in this one. Nah, it's only my workshop. Leave it alone, man. Scott, are you sure? Because the end of that is rather bulbous. Well, yeah. I ain't finished I'll yet. Just... I'm just. <laughs> as I said, I've, me heads, <laughs> we're going as it goes. Yeah, the wood if will tell like you. If we don't like it, we'll finish the project next week and then it'll go on a fire pit. The wood will tell you. I know. No, I'm only joking, mate, because we were on about earlier on with the uh, the light pull drive. Mm -mm. Yeah.
I do think this is a bit too big, though. Yeah, Mark um, L's got it. <clears throat> Mark L's got it. The dark side is in my workshop, and he said, <clears throat> and it won't be able to get out, so the universe is safe as long as Huey doesn't do any straightening. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, uh, Robert, Robert uh, asked a question. This is... I'm assuming the base is at the headstock end. Yes, Robert, the base yes. is at the headstock end. And next week, oh, uh, uh, next week Scott around. will be turning sort of a separate base to fit. Scott will be turning a separate base to, to go on there. Ashley's come in. Ashley! Oh. I say Ashley. I say Ashley. Good evening. All right, I'm going to take this down a bit. I think it's too big. That's what she said, but she wasn't talking about you. <laughs> I have all the nice friends tonight. <laughs> right, hang on. Douglas is asking me a question here. Size cutter and bar should I use? The arm is one and a half inches square. Um, <coughs> right, Douglas, I would go for a um, a carbide cutter. Sure, um, one of the best ones out there. One of the best ones out there is the Easy Wood um, six mil carbide cutter because that removes a hell of a lot of uh, wood, either that or a, a Simon Hope um, six mil cupped carbide cutter. <clears throat> no flash photography, please, Scott. I love a porridge. You see, Mark <laughs> Mark has put something in there, and he says, "I don't know about this. The wood will tell you what it wants to be." Whenever I listen to wood. It's cursing at me. Now, in some ways, I've got to agree with what Mark's in there. I usually have an idea of the shape I'm going to do before I put the wood on the lathe. Mind you, once it goes on the lathe, that can sometimes change. Yep. <laughs> uh, yep. Ashley saying buying coffee is better than super chat, right? Yes, Ashley, that is right. Correct, Ashley. And there's your starter for 10. Well done. <clears throat> Next question from Ashley is, what's that you're using? <laughs> it's sanding sealer. <laughs> Hang on, actually, is that actually a question or is that a statement? It's a statement of fact or intent, Wayne. I'm not sure which, but I'd be afraid. I'd be very afraid. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm not afraid. <laughs> no afraid. That's my best bud out there. Savage. Uh, Scott, have you got any of those um, um, upholstery pins? Yeah, that's what I've got, and I'm planning on putting them around there and there. Yeah. But I've nice. just noticed I've got a chunk yeah, out of here. Yeah. So, two chunks. Redesign. We're going to have to make that smaller, so if we make that smaller, we're going to have to make that smaller. But oh, I don't as far as gum, as for, yeah, I've got two big chunks out there, mate. No. Yeah, but I, I know what you're saying, but I don't think you need to make no, the bottom any smaller. Scott, Scott. Uh, yeah. No, just 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 take off just take off those two beads. Just take them off. I'm actually pointing at the screen here. <laughs> I can't see you, Wayne. <laughs> yeah, 
that that one there, Scott, and that one there. You see the one? The, you see the one that Wayne's pointing at? Yeah, that one and that one. <laughs> that one. And that. <laughs> he does now, Mark. <laughs> What's that? He said, "Does he need to take off both beads?" He does he, now. <laughs> yeah. Now, what I would do, what I would do on that flat piece now that that yeah. Scott yeah. just turned, I'd put the upholstery pins in, and I'd actually use some smaller tape pins to go either side of the upholstery pins Ooh, to get more now of there's the an idea. Off. Might be an Amazon shopping trip after this live then. Ooh. What are we thinking of the shape so far, peoples? I quite like it, mate. To be fair, that's what I said. You I'm don't need to take any more off. Since it's going to be steampunk, yeah, um, the, the, we'll probably do a discussion on what the base is going to be like next week. But the, yep. the shape of that for a steampunk thing, I think, I think it's looking pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, I think I might just stand it. Go for it, mate. Go for it. We might have to do the upholstery pins next week because um, I've got to find them, and it's getting on to ten to nine, but. Yeah, we'll, um, <coughs> it is forty-seven yeah, minutes I mean, past yeah, the hour. Yeah. Uh, Scott is saying, uh, "Sorry, Daily saying, oh, Scott." No, right. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, go on, go on, Shug. He said, "You could cut the gears on the scroll saw and use them to stencil gearing onto the body." Whoa. Nice. On here, put some gears around it. Yes. The other thing you could do, yeah, yeah, put some gears down there. Up at the top bit, you see you've got the flat bit between the two beads yep. at the top. What you could do on there is use your, your texturing tool on there. Oh, yeah. Put some texture on that. And then, and then put the upholstery beads around that as well. Yeah. No, you don't. We'll find a, we'll find a texturing tool in a minute. Uh, Douglas is saying, looks a bit like a pub drafting handle. I can see where you're coming from with that. Some of them were quite ornate yeah, as well. Yeah. As well. <coughs> there is a video on my uh, channel. I have made one. <laughs> Douglas, I'll have a pint of Strongbow, said Dale. <laughs> <coughs> and Bob also said, pull us a well, pint with that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We do, we do, with the with deal, but it's very easy to do with the strongbow because he's probably still got a chase out in the um, <laughs> out in the storeroom in the maple tree cellar. <laughs> it's not a cellar; it's on the same level. <laughs> in the wine cellar, but there's no yeah. wine. <laughs> oh, Gab's uh, here! Oh, yeah, Gab. Evening, Gab. And the, the Gab is saying some lucky bugger is winning an Axeman's to 1628. That's the same leather I've got, by the way, uh, for £870 with an hour left. And oh, I think it's a problem. Is that you? More than that. Talking of lucky buggers and winning things, I want a D-Walk drill yesterday. I think they'll probably go for more than that, tell you the truth. It's a beautiful lathe. Yeah. Fabulous lives, mate. Oh, I think it'll definitely go more. <clears throat> With an hour left to go as well, most eBay auctions lately seem to be doing all of their business in the last five minutes. So. Right, I want to the right. Douglas is asking here, Scott, yes. your BMC, it does not have PayPal. Is that right? Uh. No, because PayPal no What's longer works with Buy Me A Coffee. Ah, right. I, I understand. That is right, yeah. It, it only it's works with, with um, Stripe or something now. Yeah, it's done it's, with Stripe now. Yeah, it's it like a bank with, with, um, It doesn't work with doesn't PayPal work anymore. With PayPal. <laughs> yeah, you've got to use it. If you're going to do a Buy Me A Coffee... For for anybody that's uh, that that's doing the lives, if you're going to do a buy me a coffee, it's got to be done with either a, a debit or credit card. Mm -hmm. Mm 
what we could do as well, I suppose, is I could find my size and see if we can put some gold leaf or uh, copper leaf or silver leaf around the beads. Oh, Ooh, that'll yeah. work. Copper, copper or brass would be the better. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's deep, this may end up being a free style. pot. <laughs> but we'll see. Mm. <laughs> For, oh God, 40 inch, Scott. Rather, you full of a deer. 40 mm. inch, Scott. That's your size for now, for now. You know who that was. That, that had yeah. to be there. <laughs> for now, for now. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, in trouble. Fifty inches too big. And Ashley said, "Follow your heart, Scott." <laughs> Douglas says, "What size is that?" Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> it's just more than a handful, so it's a waste. Well done, Ward. Ward said. <clears throat> Attention, please. Smash the like button. Right, that's it up to 120. We're going to paint it with black art. So let's just take it 240. We'll do a bit of texturing on here. Ten people have a fantastical opportunity to smack the like button. <laughs> Ashley confirms she has smashed the button. Well done. I do like working with maple and sickle. Sounds really well. Wayne, that might be you that's Darth Vader in this time, mate. Yeah, I can hear it. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it. I was waiting for it. There we are then. <laughs> Do you know what, boys? I was trying to remember that earlier on. <laughs> I was trying to find the polite way to call that um, that player something, and I couldn't remember what you said. <laughs> oh, look, if I take no, the dust the, glasses, you, I you've see. got two options there, Scott. Yeah. You, you've, no, you've got two options. You've either got, there we are then, or you've also oh. got can't understand normal thinking. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> right, texturing tool. Derby, derby, derby. Oh, I have two. Oh, 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 oh. You can do it. Look what I just found, peeps. What's he found? What's he found? Bring it to the camera. Let us see. Oh, yes. Oh, I can you see some like of them it. down in the base. Good lad, well done. I forgot I had them. Or if I've got some small enough around. All right, texturing tool. That's what we want. So I've got two. I've got the decorating elf, or we've got the spiral. Yes, he oh, did man. indeed. Mark. Spiral. That that makes me happy to see gears and cogs. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Right. Um, have you got that? Have you got the four mil spiral? No, mate. This is all I've got. All right. Okay. Right. Gab is asking a question here. Yeah. To find a hollow form i.e. a vase or a closed top. Okay. A hollow form has got a very small opening in the top and the inside is hollowed out. Um, an open bowl, obviously the bowl is open, as in a salad bowl. A closed bowl, sorry, as in a fruit bowl. A closed bowl is where the bowl uh, turns out from the bottom then comes back in towards the top. Uh, more as a salad bowl because you don't want the salad to fall out of it. Um, a vase tends to be longer than uh, what it is wide. Uh, you want this to go any further, Gav? Uh, 
Uh, Anita Ball's got to go, and she said, I'll definitely be watching the replay. And she loves the steampunk look. Nice. And JP Woodworks here. Evening, JP. I like that. That's looking yes. a bit of... That's like a knurled effect. I like that. <clears throat> yeah, all right, let's put that away. How long we got? Let's, let's paint it good black. I have some good ideas. You do have some good ideas, don't you, Wayne? He sees a red door and he and wants, he wants to, paint to paint it black. black. <laughs> <laughs> I had that in my head when I said that. I knew you were going to come up a bit. Right. No colours anymore. Let's hope it doesn't crack. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and yeah, said, thank you, Wayne. Just because Ashley's in. Before Go I put it. the uh, ebonizing lacquer on, I'm just going to put some acrylic sand and cedar on. <clears throat> Ashley, <clears throat> What's that? You're, you're up next, I believe. Hey, Scott, what's that you put on? on? <laughs> <clears throat> That's sanding sealer, Ashley. And then we'll have a bit of whip bricks. And we'll have some black paint. Ah, oh, there's a question right, from the no. chat, Scott. Um, oh, no. Okay. I'm... Why is it acrylic? Okay, because I'm putting it underneath paint, so I choose the acrylic. <clears throat> I've never put uh, cellulose underneath a paint. I don't know if it would work, but that's just J my preference. JP said. It would. It would. Looks like a great looking work. stick. Uh, but, uh, that, that's by the by. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> what was I going to say there? Right. To add to the steampunk, you, you know that um, the, the bit where I told you to take the beads off, I'm pointing at the screen again. Yep. It's bit. Yeah, that flat bit where, yeah, that bit there. Rather than putting the, uh, the upholstery things there, you being an electrician must have loads and loads and loads of copper wire knocking about. Uh, I might have somewhere. Why don't you wrap that bit in copper wire? Why don't you wrap that in copper wire, that, that flat bit, Ooh. and then put the uh, upholstery beads on the, you know, down at the bottom of the um, of the light? Or around the rim on the yeah, bottom? Yeah, put the upholstery... Yeah. Yeah, put the upholstery beads around there. Are we remembering this? Because I'll forget by next week. <laughs> well, for crying out loud. No, I won't. I'll make, 68. My memory's crap. I'll make notes. I'll make notes after the life. Yes. So this is just chestnuts. Uh oh. Well. Right. It's all right. It might be my computer. I buffered then for a second. Someone's um. Star fader. In. Is that oh, you, that's Wayne? Me again. Sorry, guys. Would you like some yeah, ketchup that with that? Me. No, you find me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all coming out tonight. <laughs> oh, hang on. What, what's going on in the chat here? There's stuff going on in the chat here. Buffered. Uh, yeah. YouTube. Douglas is at, no, Douglas is asking about the... Um, the, the he says, do you have any watch cogs? Well, you've just found out those cogs. So, yeah, yep. they, 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 they're they going to be getting used, Douglas. Um, I'm sure somewhere I might even have some smaller ones now. What I'm going to have to do is right. I have a drawer of destiny. And I find I buy stuff and then I put it in there. Mm -hmm. So I bet if I go through that, we might be able to find loads of bits to use. Cool. But I like the idea of um, copper wire around there. Right, the uh, other thing to do, with the, once the ebonized lacquer has dried properly, the bit that you've tax, textured up at the top. Yep, knock that back. Sand that, yeah, sand that back. Yep. Let's just have a look how it's drying. Oh, Mark L has put in there, it sounds like Wayne has a groupie or a stalker. Same thing. That No, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. You're totally wrong there. I've got actually... <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so. <clears throat> we don't need a donk. We've got an Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Uh, Gav, I already have a project, said Ashley. I have to make a T-shirt with the name of Wayne and Shug's trivia, uh, trivia team on it. Well, you better pull your finger out. It's, it's tomorrow night, Ashley. It's tomorrow, it's tomorrow night. We've got to go to the dark side. So, I think what we'll do is we will call that it for tonight. Um, We'll give this a chance. Oh, I'm looking try. forward to next week now. And then uh, next week, we will do the base or maybe the decoration. We'll see how time goes. If we have to take it into three parts, we have to take it into three parts. But that's where we're going. Let's get let's get an ugly mug and two beautiful people back on camera. Ugh, there's that. Oh, ugly che mug. cheers, mate. No, that's I said a lot. The ugly mug. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. It's a shame we can't have it in free. See, I could be a form between two roses. Uh, oh, you say you know, I'm not yeah. having that, you sweet talking. <laughs> Get so, your coat. Get your coat. You've pulled. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Actually, we it better... looks like I'm the skinny one. <laughs> well done, Wayne. <laughs> yeah, but my, my problem is, yeah, I've been eating too many of Jill's pies. <laughs> <laughs> my problem is I've been eating too many pies full stop. They don't need a name. <laughs> <laughs> there we go guys I hope you've enjoyed tonight um, be sure to come back next week 8 o'clock and we will start texturing uh, start the decoration on that and if we get time to do the base if not we will do it the following week nice but now I'm going to hit the button thanks for watching see you next time